Uh, now, I kind of alluded to this a few minutes ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Something you talk about a lot and something I, I talk about ever so often, but I, I do address it, I think, quite often in the book, religion. Um, what are the pros and the cons uh, religion has done to us? I would say the pros, man, like there are a lot of people that are just anti-religion. And even though even though I don't affiliate with a particular religion, even though I'm not pro-religion, I can easily identify the pros. Like, you know, concerning myself, I can look back when when I was, uh, you know, a teenager and my father had passed on. It was just me living in a single uh, uh, sit with my single, you know, single uh, mother household in, in the church. You know, Christianity, religion was was my guide, you know uh giving me some kind of structure you know you know going going to bible study and going through you know the book of proverbs learning how the men of the bible move you know whether people believe it actually happened or not but that that at one point in time that was my only male male role you know male guidance that i had man so i can easily say that religion you know is a is a is a you know can be a guide for this you know culture of single mothers um I can easily say that religion is getting brothers off of the streets, getting people off of drugs, getting people, you know, off of all kinds of addictions. It's doing that. So, so there are several pros, man. But, but when it comes to the cons, in my opinion, the cons far outweigh the pros, like, like far outweigh the pros. And what I mean by that is, it's like, it's like religion has monopolized uh, what they call salvation or eternal life. Right. Yes. Like, 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 Religion is saying that, you know what, if you want to be saved, if you want to, you know, get to the kingdom or eternal life, then, then you have to go down this narrow path. You know, you, you have to put your faith in, you know, you, you have to put your faith in, in, in some entity that died on the cross that you never met. But that's the only way you can get to to paradise. What that does instantly, man, it, it cuts a man community. It cuts a man's communication off with, you know, the direct communication that we have with God or the all right. Yes. It's, like, it's like we have to go a certain way, you know, we got to understand why he died and the crucifix. It's like it's like this, man. I remember I remember uh, several years ago. I was this was probably 2006, 2007. I had a, a, a Jehovah's Witness come to my door and I have nothing against Jehovah's Witness, but it was a Jehovah's Witness. Uh, 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 I think they call them elders. He came to my door and he was talking and he gave me this long spiel. You know, we had a good conversation, man. And I asked him one question. I said, you know what, if I'm on my deathbed and, and I'm moments away from clocking out. And I asked you, how can I get to heaven? I said, what do you tell me? And this brother went on a 30 minute spiel <laughs> about, about blood and about this and about that. I said, brother, that's where you lose me, man. I said, why do we make it so, so complicated to connect with God? I said, I said, I said brother, all you have to do is believe that, that, that God is what it says it is and does what it says it does. Nothing else. You know, right. and, and, and that's my belief. And I, I, I just think religion is a good practice to keep people. It's a good practice. You know, when it comes right. to somebody trying to keep it in line and having some kind of structure, I think it's a beautiful thing. Right. But I think that once a man or woman leaves church, they need, they need to have their own personal mission, their own right. personal faith. You know, you know, yeah. uh, that's yeah. my take on it, man. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, I think religion for me is the training wheels of life. Mm -hmm. uh, but at some point, you got to take off those training wheels. And, and, and believe in yourself and know I can ride this bike on my own. I, yeah. the, the, the God in me is yeah. powerful enough to ride this bike without the training wheels. Because when you have the training wheels on a bike, you don't trust the bike. You don't trust yourself. Mm. You trust these wheels on the side of it. And until you take those training wheels off, you will never know how powerful you are. You know? Yeah. Um, and so, Thanks, yeah, I was talking to someone the other day and we were talking about uh, what it takes to start a civilization, a, a community uh, from nothing. And I was saying, you know, a hospital and, you know, you need you need uh, you need this and this and that. But then I also mm -hmm. said, you know, I'm not big on religion. I said, but if I'm starting a civilization, I do need a place of worship because it does bring order. Mm -hmm. You know, it brings order and, and you need that as, as a babe. Not even as a babe in the physical sense, but as a babe mentally and spiritually, mm -hmm. you need that in the beginning until you can get out of that and, and see the bigger picture uh, and the bigger mm -hmm. purpose of your life. But yeah, I think religion definitely plays a part, but uh, we, we, we got to graduate from that, I believe. We really yeah. do.
but yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't ridicule it down my brothers uh, who practice no. a religion, and you don't either. No. So no. yeah, yeah, I do no, have no, respect. Man. 